Good morning, party people at the Chaos West stage. This is day four, and uh, this is a self-organized session. We had great fun the last three days to do so, presenting your stuff. We will uh, go on doing this today, too. Um, thank you for the party yesterday and cleaning everything up. It was amazing. And um, Mati will now have an introduction, is it not? Yes. Yeah, it's an introduction about Scuttlebutt. So please, an applause for Mati. Cool. So, hi, I'm uh, Matej. I'm uh, coming from the Progress Bar Hackerspace from Bratislava. And I will today will try to introduce you Scuttlebot. And so, it will be Scuttlebot what edition. And the, my questions will be the, which the fav what's your favorite tool for you are using for the decent communication? Maybe hands up if you are using already something. <laughs> okay, so I will maybe skip it because uh, I see the party was hard yesterday. So, okay, so the scuttlebot is based uh, on the all the off-grid uh, concepts, how use the information, and how it's shared, and uh, doesn't count on the digital surface of the all protocols what we used so far today, and it's uh, designed like it should work uh, even on the mesh networks and. Uh, work like uh, even between the direct to notebooks or direct to uh, devices like mobile phones or direct to satellites, right? So, and uh, the core of the Scuttlebot is like the secure gossip, which uh, produce uh, your message, which is signed by you. So it can be changed when it's passed over to someone else, right? So, and the whole scuttlebot meaning is like the C slang for the gossip, right? And it was be invented uh, like exchanging your gossips about your coworkers at your pirate ship at the, ah, okay, thanks. Uh, at your boat ship. Yeah, I'm tired too, so sorry. <laughs> So, yeah, when you are using the off-grid communications, you are literally not on the internet, right? So, to be short, the scuttlebot is all about it not embrace the objectivity and doesn't have any kind of the single and consensus because uh, there is uh, no need to consensus. Let's fork your discussions and continue in other thread. Uh, every person who uses the scuttlebot have uh, their own view of the network. So we just uh, share the common information, but uh, there is no objectivity on the social network as we know nowadays social networks. And uh, you are building the networks by your local trust, so you will bring your friends to the network. And uh, this doesn't work like the IRC or some kind of the forums where Every people see the same. Uh, yeah. So the major thing about the scuttlebot is that uh, you don't have any kind of the authority there. So you are your own authority, and you just trust yourself. So it's uh, based on your um, good decisions you make and you links you click, right? So beware of scammers. And uh, yeah. So. Sum up the there is no uh, global singleton, so there is like nothing like a single ledger or single computer or single file system, and uh, the people don't need to agree what they see, right? So, okay, going for some technicals. So, as uh, every person who will sign up to the scuttlebot locally, uh, it will be generated the key pair and it's their cryptographic name is their public key and that's it right so and every message you produce it will append uh, to your uh, personal let's say the blockchain and uh, that's what you are doing on the scuttlebot every time when you post the message or create some kind of the post right and you will be just uh, joining these uh, messages together using the Merkle trees 
Uh, the principles of the scuttlebot is uh, is uh, about the subjectivity. So, is I say the CCC is great, you could not agree. Or if I say there uh, has been some uh, situations or bad situations uh, around the CCC, I could or could not agree, right? So there is also the against consensus. So if the CCC will make the, some kind of statement, other persons in the room could uh, refuse the statement and make their own, right? Uh, there is also the free speech and free listening on the scuttlebot. So everything it's was was being post there. It could be like the passed over and could be published on other nodes, right? So as yes, literally nobody can stop you. And uh, as the part of the dog fooding is that scuttlebot is being used uh, by their own developers for using as a primary communication tool for the in their daily life, right? And the uh, best principle is the uncapturable that uh, nobody have uh, total control all over it, right? Like uh, the Tor Tor project have some the kind of the board which decides what to do and uh, how they act and how they produce their thing over it, right? So uh, there is the identity. This is your uh, public key. This is not laser. And there is the your uh, subjective name or like the it's called the pet names. So anyone can assign you your uh, different pet name. Uh, yeah, and this all been told. So skip, skip, and oh, let's be quick. So yes, uh, in the <laughs> yeah, uh, when you produce your messages, you creating your sig chain and uh, creating some sequence number of your messages let's say and you are connecting to each other like some kind of the secure ledger so and you don't have some that kind of the proof of work so when you try to modify your published already sig chain you will just broke your identity and your identity will be not consistent anymore so there is uh, also some parts there should be probably uh, could be implemented. There are some kind of the deniability as well. So, yep. Uh, okay, I can maybe tell you that some technicals about the how message looks like. You have there the signature. You have there your public key, your content of the previous message which has been linked, the sequence number of the some kind of the post in the channel, and. Uh, timestamp and uh, sign and some uh, blob for rich media. So this is how it looks. And you may see there, there you have the author there, sequence number, timestamp, hash. Uh, yeah, the algorithms for the crypto could be changed anytime. And that's it. And this the part of the content is being like the flexible and being now extended for some kind of the moderations. But you don't need to accept the moderation parameters as well. And I will get back later to it. So there is like three basic uh, signals uh, using the at, at for feeds, the percent for the messages, and the amp for the blobs. And you have also some uh, tag and the uh, end of the each of these uh, links, which will tell you what kind of the crypto is being used. That could be like replaced anytime. Uh, this is like the sum for the crypto you are using for identity, the curves, uh, ED keepers, and for the your messages you are using the private box. And uh, secret, uh, I think there is the double secret handshake or four, not sure right now, because it was the change lately. And uh, you are using the content hash link link for the messages. Uh, yeah, uh, the great thing about the, the scuttlebot is that they are using the secure the gossip. So anyone can pass over your gossip, but it couldn't be changed, right?
So, and uh, it's cryptographically verifiable that it was said by you, right? Uh, okay, here is the another great feature of the Scuttlebot is that the, when you choose uh, the person who you will start the flow, you automatically, your Scuttlebot instance will start replicating and anyone uh, else who will start follow you will also have chance to see the feeds you are replicating to them. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, the Scuttlebot using also the DHT for the sharing the peers. So if I will connect to your peer, I will get uh, some uh, diary of your peers and the stories you have and I will look up for the persons I follow and I will download the part of the content from you and will replicate it to the next person I will meet in the future. And the great thing about the Scuttlebot is that you can uh, use it like uh, offline and handle over it on some USB or SD card to someone else. So it could be like use the sneaker nets and could be used without internet. Yay. Uh, mm. Okay, this is the pretty complicated, but it's easy to understand. Understandable that uh, as you name the someone on the network, it could be really different how you will see it. Uh, when someone else the follow you, so you will interpret the network differently for each person the will follow the next person after you, right? So it could be modified and uh, every person who will come uh, through you, you will see the network like you interpret it to them. So you also can change the network. And. Uh, yeah, to sum up that uh, the Scuttlebot have no singletons is think that the the singletons have the singletons have the problem that they don't meet the the architecture and the conceptual um, designs of the whole usage. Uh, okay, very quick. And this is another piece of uh, 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 and okay, and uh, the scuttlebot is using the Merkle trees. You can literally just uh, replicate only your friends or your mate which participate. It's that uh, kind of the discussion. So if you have like the few time to replicate it from the Mars. You only replicate the part of the discussion, and you can read it offline as well afterwards. And yay, clicker stops works. Great. So, hello. <laughs> so this thing doesn't work. So. So. Ah, okay. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> So, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, do you need to give a sign then all the time? Uh, yeah, time? so, okay, yeah. Okay, thanks. So, I will sum up for the applications. There are some real world usage already. So, yeah, next slide. Or maybe next slide. Yeah, so. The people behind the Scuttlebot start uh, embracing the Git to place it in back to the decentralized environment. And uh, you can literally use the Git SSB, which is the replicated Git over your uh, friends. So, and this is uh, encrypted by native, and it works like some common brands. Uh, there is also the gatherings, which you can create some events. It's pretty experimental for now. Uh, there is the in development the mobile app for the exploring the scuttlebot trees, as is uh, getting on. 
Uh, there is the decentralized uh, Fairman, uh, decentralized SoundCloud, which use like the Vector and uh, Magnet Links uh, for sharing the blobs with the music. There is the Chess. Uh, there is the application for reviewing for books you read. Uh, there is the also blogging platform because the lot of uh, posts in the Scuttlebot are quite long. And recently, there someone released the Tailnet, which is the Skillshare network. And here is some real numbers from the network. So there is like uh, this measurement is using like a two weeks uh, window based uh, on the activity of the users, and average activity is somewhere between 80 and 100 users daily. So, so some technical things. You can also configure in your Scuttlebot instance uh, how many people you want to replicate and use the Dunbar's number and uh, how number of hops you want to see in the network you will be replicated to. And, and, oh, yeah, and you can also use the hardcore mode to turn off the public replication. Okay, and uh, if you want to start using the Scuttlebot right now, you can head over to the uh, GitHub SSBC and patchwork slash patchwork slash releases and download the application. Uh, open the Scuttlebot uh, pub servers URLs and wait for the initial sequence of some few sig chains and some go some channels and introduce yourself at the channel new people. So, okay, I think that's it. So if you will be on the Scuttlebot, you can maybe follow me. If you'll be there, and maybe see you there. So, yeah, thanks. And if you have questions, I know if we have time. So, okay, I have 12 minutes. So, any questions? Questions from the audience? So. Hey, uh, great talk, thanks. Um, thanks. Can you configure your Scuttlebutt client to just uh, replicate specific people. So, I mean, maybe I don't want to just replicate what people have there because maybe it's not legal in my country and so on and so on. Mm. Or can I say, okay, I trust these people to not post stuff which can get me into trouble, maybe. Uh, um, I, I've seen it in the code and uh, it's not like in the, it's not configurable right now, but yes, you can uh, make it a pull request. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it's possible, yeah. So it's, yeah, uh, by design, the Scuttlebot is meant to be, uh, not to be censored any, anyhow, right? So it's up to how you make it, right? So, and th there are also free, some few forks of the Scuttlebot instances as well. So, and uh, they don't break each other, but the content you will see will be quite different, so, yeah, but that's the nature of the Scuttlebot. Thanks. More questions? Is there, um, is there some kind of possibility to generate private groups or private uh, subnets of the Scuttlebot? Uh, yes, uh, by default. The subjectivity which has been used on the Scuttlebot is that what they have been told in uh, this stage doesn't collide what has been uh, told in other room, right? So if uh, nobody will leak from other room or like that both ways, it's uh, totally separate till then. So yeah. And uh, the great about is the Scuttlebot is using uh, the Merkle trees, so the every discussion have the the content hash of the discussion. So if uh, you don't follow any of person from the next room, you are not in. You are probably not will not see the content, right? So that's how it works. Okay, but uh, as soon as someone from my group uh, leaks content to another group, it's, yes. uh, it's out in the open. Yeah, we will be. Okay, could be seen. Mm -hmm. Thank but you. Yeah, no, there is also some. Uh, uh, Rojava running the Scuttlebot instances as well, and they are not connected. To, I, yeah, I see some posts, but for me it's not reachable because I don't know the people from Rojava personally, and there's also some Venezuela Scuttlebot runnings as well. More questions? <coughs> oh.
Okay, Matja. Then, as so. usual, my last question. Okay. Where, where do we find you here on, in the Congress uh, if we want to talk to you? I, I'm, I think you can find me through the wiki. Okay. So I'm there and, uh, yeah, I'm on the Twitter, so. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much for your amazing talk. Thanks.